Are you confused about what to eat for optimal health? Specifically, if you are a corporate leader above 40 years of age and suffering from any kind of lifestyle disease like uh, diabetes or obesity, and you have tried n number of diets, but uh, nothing seems to work for long term. So let me tell you, there is a way out. But before that, we need to break down the concept of nutrition and we need to understand what actually nutrition means because the right approach will be a game changer for you. And once we cross the age of 40, there are a number of changes takes place internally, like our metabolism will be slowing down, our digestive system will be slowing down, our, uh, we are more prone to lose our lean muscle mass and uh, even our bone health starts compromising. And many of us will be suffering from reversible lifestyle diseases like diabetes, uh, obesity or heart conditions, etc, etc. And to reverse all these conditions, it doesn't mean like you have to cut down the calories or uh, cut down the fats. You need to stay away from carbohydrates. No, it won't work like that. To reverse these conditions, you have to work on your overall lifestyle. And you must be uh, choosing a lifestyle which will help you to stay active, which will help you to eat consciously and uh, which will help you to enjoy the life which directly uh, helps you to stay healthier and fitter for a longer time. So in this video, I will be sharing few factors which look simple and which are repetitive. I repeat uh, this concept in many of my previous videos also. But I repeat it because these concepts look simple, but uh, they are actually backbone. They, are, they help you to understand the nutrition and they, are the, they will help you to stick to this fitness journey for a longer time. This is Sanju Kaliwala. I am the founder of the Natural Lifestyle Hub and on a mission to help at least 100,000 corporate leaders above 40 years of age to achieve their good health, to achieve their fitness and to achieve their longevity by using all natural techniques. So without wasting the time, let's do the video. time. So let me share my blackboard. Let me share my presentation and let me share what I have for you. I named this video Nutrition after 40 and probably this is a second video of this kind and in this the first concept here is attached to your roots so many of the many of people when the word comes diet in their mind it will be like uh, cutting down the calories cutting down the carbohydrates i don't know where this word connected to such kind of fancy thing Many people think dieting means practicing some fancy kind of diet like keto diet, paleo diet or some kind of diet to see the results. Yes, these diets will work for a short term, but they are not kind of diets which you can practice for a long term or lifelong. The diets which you can sustain for a longer time are the diets which you are already eating, which are actually practiced from years and which our ancestors used to eat. So. Connecting your roots means practicing the diet which your ancestors planned for you because they practiced these diets and they lived in this world healthier and fitter for a longer time. So those diets are best for you but we need to focus on small small things like uh, focusing on traditional eating habits and balancing our meal, uh, adding appropriate carbohydrates, fat, proteins so that uh, it can be a healthy option. And second point focusing on the whole foods. So once we cross the age of 40, as I said you, so many changes will be taking place in, internally. To work our uh, engine properly, to treat your body as a car, a supercar, because your body is not less than any supercar or greater than a supercar. How a supercar needs a super fuel to work efficiently. In the same way, your body needs a quality fuel to work. So quality fuel comes from whole grains, whole foods, fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, etc, etc. So always try to include whole foods and uh, whole grains in your uh, food. Always add natural foods and try to eat as uh, how they will be in nature. So this will be your second uh, point like so adding complex carbohydrates, nutrient dense food, fresh vegetables, legumes, whole grains, fruits. These all foods will help you to strong, stay healthier. And these all foods are easily available around you. And uh, third point is protein. So this is one of the most controversial food. 
most of the people having misconception that once we cross the age of 40 we need to minimize the protein intake and protein is made for only young people and they will relate protein with some other complications like uh, kidney health or other other things but the actual fact is completely opposite protein becomes more important more necessary when you cross the age of 40 because after crossing the age of 40, we will be more prone to lose our lean muscle mass. And protein plays a key role to repair, to build our muscle tissue. Uh, and uh, if you are having good amount of lean muscle mass, obviously you will be having low amount of fat. And obviously you will be having a great health, we can say. And protein doesn't uh, made only to made only to repair your muscles and build muscles. It has many other functions also like uh, let me uh, show what are the other functions it uh, builds and repair muscles as i said it's boost metabolism and uh, it keeps fuller for a longer time and it also manages your blood sugar levels and it also builds a great immunity which will keep you away from small small infections which are happening nowadays and uh, fourth point make fats as your friends so most of the people think like uh, fats are enemies uh, we will be getting so many health problems due to fats but adding healthy fats in your diet will always be beneficial because fat has its own work to do in our body and it not only help you to become uh, physically strong it also help you to uh, become mentally strong because your brain need fat to function properly so fat it will also help in digestion fat will also help in joint health fat will also help in our brain function so fat has a number of benefits including healthy fats this will always keep you away from the health complications which we see nowadays and where you will get the healthy fats you will get healthy fats from olive oils nuts butters peanut butter nut butters and avocados etc etc and coming to fifth point timing and portion this is one of the important factor which uh, plays a key role in keeping us healthy and fit because as a corporate leader many of you will be having time constant and many of us will be compromising our meals on our work and many of us will be skipping meals due to heavy uh, workloads but treat your body is like a vehicle a super super car or super vehicle how a super vehicle or engine need a fuel to work in the same way your body also need a good quality fuel on time to time basis so instead of skipping meals once you cross the age of 40 adding frequent meal will always be beneficial adding a snack for every three to four hours or adding a small balanced meal for every two to uh, four hours window it will always be beneficial and uh, it will it will avoid binge eating because if you give long gap between your meals and after the gap once you start eating you will be eating like uncontrolled it is called binge eating so to avoid this condition adding frequent meals or adding small small healthy snacks between your big meals will always be beneficial will always help you to keep going and will always help you to stay healthier and fitter for a longer time and coming to sixth point hydration this is also a key factor to which keeps us healthy so sometimes we will be so busy and we will forget to hydrate ourselves and few people will think if they work in under air conditioned place or if they stay in in, in any cool place no need of taking uh, water more but the fact is quite opposite despite of your air conditioned working area or despite of the cool area you live you need to take appropriate quantity of water to keep yourself healthy and fit because water has many functions to do in our body water will help in digestion water will help to flush out the toxins from our blood water will help to regulate the body temperature and water will also help to keep your hairs and eyes healthy so due to this all factors you need to take appropriate water and as per studies every male has to take anywhere between 3.5 to 4 liters of water and every woman or female has to take anywhere between 3 to 3.5 liter of water per day and the last but not the least point of this uh, video let me share i took few do's and don'ts which will help you to understand uh, 
the nutrition and which will help you to plan your nutrition as per your requirement. So in that first thing, keeping yourself away from any fancy or fat diet and including nutrient rich foods, whole grains, whole foods and the second prioritizing protein in every meal, adding protein in every meal so that you can uh, fulfill your requirement and including healthy fats. As I mentioned, the benefits of uh, healthy fats and uh, always stay hydrated to see the benefits and uh, focus on consistency, not on perfection. The more you try to become perfect, the more you will procrastinate the things. So instead of procrastinating, just taking a consistent action will help you to get results. So these were the do's and uh, let's come to don'ts. In the same point, don't fall in the trap of any fancy diet. Keep yourself away from that because those diets will promise you quick fixes and they will work for a short term. But in long run, it, they are not sustainable and uh, they cannot be practiced uh, for a long time. And uh, don't fear of carbs. Many people think dieting means cutting down the carbohydrates and they will blame carbohydrates only. They will think carbohydrates are the only culprits uh, to make them unhealthy. But carbohydrates plays a key role in providing the energy. So instead of excluding the carbohydrates, make sure the carbohydrates are coming from whole grains and make sure as per your energy requirement, you are taking the carbohydrates. This is called carb cycle. And next, don't skip the meals and rely on sugary filled snacks which are easily available in the market. Instead of that, you can add any healthy snack between your meals to keep your metabolism working and uh, to keep yourself working with full energy. And last but not the least, don't ignore the portion size. Instead of taking one to heavy meals, try to take frequent to small meals, which will help you uh, to keep going, which will be easy on your stomach, which will be easy on your digestive system. And uh, it will play a key role in keeping you healthier and fitter for a longer time. So this was a short video. Uh, about your nutrition, what actually works after you are 40. So hope you felt this video informative you. And uh, if you are still confused how to plan your day, there is a link in my description. You can click on the link and join my community where I will be helping you out to plan your day, plan your meals, understand your nutrition at a deeper level. And I will also help you to kickstart your fitness journey. And if you like this video, please do share with your friends who are still struggling to plan their day or to understand the nutrition. And please do subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this in future. So this is Sanjeev Kaliwala signing off. Meet you in the next video. Till the time, stay healthy. Stay fit, stay natural, bye.